How about this? An hour of your time could save a life. Team 12's Adam Bagney joins us with a Valley Teen story about how it's all possible. What is it like to meet the people who saved your life? They were able to actually um, track down some of your actual blood donors to surprise you. Oh my gosh. Last month, Mia McPolin learned the feeling, but it wasn't just one person she hugged, it was 34. Well, what went through me was just such joy and such like pleasure knowing like that these are the people that saved my life. Mia has been in a lifelong battle with diamond black fan anemia, a rare disorder that prevents her body from producing red blood cells. The road for her and her mom hasn't been easy. And I said, well, what if I don't? And she just looked at me and said, then your baby will die. Every month, Mia is in the hospital for blood transfusions she'll need for the rest of her life. Last month, as a way to thank her for raising awareness, United Blood Services introduced her to nearly three dozen people whose donations she received. An emotional moment for everyone involved. To me, it just became crystal clear how important it is for us to all help each other and be there for each other. Today, it really hit home. I've, I've, been, a, I've been in education for 28 years, and I'm constantly helping people, but today, listening to Mia's story, it was just so, it was so touching. But the road for Mia isn't over. She's had 200 transfusions, and that'll continue for the rest of her life. For now, she and her donors are hoping her story inspires others. Donating blood is so easy, and it truly saves lives. And you get the great feeling of knowing that you help someone. And as for excuses... Suck it up. <laughs> in Phoenix, Adam Bagg, 12 News.